Welcome to the Tales of Earth Conspiracy Cast 2.0, the show that is streamed live every Monday at our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash eligiblemonster, on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern. It is then uploaded early access to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Comic Storian, where you get access to this, among many other early access podcasts and programs that we create here at Eligible Monster Productions. This show is an, an interesting look at very many, at a ton of conspiracies. <laughs> what we do is we just take a look at them and we get the readily available information and Gary presents it to us. There is no deep diving, we don't spend weeks on end, and no, we don't go looking at the true believers of your conspiracies, because it's a very biased opinion. Does that sound good, Gary? Sure. What I'm saying is, this show is for fun. We look at the conspiracies and we have fun with it. Some of them are more believable, such as lizard people, and some of them are batshit crazy, like a flat earth. Did I mix those up again? Yes, but anyway. <laughs> I don't no, know that I, agree, I would. I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I, 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 um, <laughs> I don't know that I would categorize uh, lizard people as believable. That, that was the joke, Gary. Um, that was the joke. It's it's clearly okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I apologize if I seem less energy than usual today, as I am still recovering from my illness, mm -hmm. which has given me a very Vincent Price voice. <laughs> That's not Vincent I Price say, at all. I don't think you know who I'm, Vincent Price is. I may yes. not have ever seen one of his movies. <laughs> you're, you're closer to like when they do like a, a somebody does a bad impression of like Mr. Sulu. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kirk. So how about that time restraint? <laughs> okay. Anyway, most of these episodes are 30 minutes to 45 minutes, which is the entire point. We get the easy to access knowledge because we can't do all of your topics in these podcasts. And no, we're not doing three hour podcasts. That would kill our YouTube algorithm and it would just be exhausting. Oh, so, yeah. Gary. Yes. What's today's topic? <laughs> and well, please Benny. do it in a funny accent. <laughs> no. Okay. <clears throat> Some years ago, I was introduced to this idea. Okay. That. Sorry, I was distracted by Did something. you lose your train of thought? I was thought? just, I was just Andy, distracted by something off, off set. Hang on. Ancient Aliens. Thank you. Well, Not the show. Thank you. Not the show. Not the show, Ancient Aliens. So, growing up, I'm just going to give a little backstory. I knew that this idea of Ancient Aliens was at least a concept for like science fiction. You know, shows like Stargate uh, and movies initially like Stargate would delve into this idea that aliens visited us thousands of years ago, either helped us develop or took humans or whatever it is, that we were influenced in some way by aliens in the past. Yes. And then as I got older, I realized, oh, there's actually some academic study behind this. There's some information. This, is, this didn't just come up out of nowhere. This mm. isn't just a sci-fi idea. This, the sci-fi ideas came out of the, um, out of the actual archaeological and historical studies. As most good sci-fi ideas do. Yes, they do. Like Stargate. Yes, would you like Stargate. Stargate. Is he going to do that the whole time? Uh, <laughs> Generally, I hope not. It hurts my throat. <laughs> okay. Is it kind of British? Did I get a British accent? Kind accent? of You're British? Closer than usual. <laughs> yeah. I am the last of the dragons. So. <laughs> Who is that? No, it doesn't matter. Gary, go. Go. Just go. Just go. And I'm the one getting us off topic. I never said that. No, you didn't. I just said that we were, we were 15 minutes off topic and we started yet. Okay. <clears throat> I did never All say right. it was your fault, though. That's true. <laughs> Speaking of the sources that we have readily available, many of them are things like Wikipedia, National Geographic, and therefore, I am going to read us an article from National Geographic. These are seven ancient sites some people think were built by aliens. Okay. I was just looking generally, at this this morning. Yes. How weird is that? So generally, oh, when, yeah, you, when we, you talk we, about... We've been doing some research on some new Tales of Earth topics. Yeah. Tales of Earth, the channel that this is hosted on, Gary. Generally, when you talk about ancient aliens, they're associated with very specific sites. Like uh, the pyramids uh, at Giza. They're associated with Easter Island. Put those Giza. Giza. It's definitely Giza. Oh. Yeah, Giza. Well, Giza. I'm known for my pronunciations. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this is just going into a few of these. And it says, Planet Earth is home to some spectacular relics from bygone eras. Uh, constructions that seem to defy the technological capabilities of their time, either because they're too big, too heavy, or too complex. As such, some suggest the ancient builders of the Egyptian pyramids, the Nazca Lines, and others were following an, following an extraterrestrial instruction manual. 
That's not how I phrase it. Perhaps the hands that crafted these sites weren't really of this world. To be sure, it's fun to think about whether aliens had visited Earth. After all, humans are not the threshold of expanding our, our on the threshold of expanding our reach in space, and places like Mars are in our sight. But the truth is, there's no evidence suggesting that aliens have ever been here. I would also disagree with that. And uh, invoking, and you started a sentence with and, uh, invoking a supernatural explanation for some of the most okay? monumental of, uh, yes, I'm fine. Human achievements means skipping over the fascinating ways in which prehistoric civilizations managed, managed to make some of the largest and most enigmatic constructions on Earth. And I am going to ruin this pronunciation. I tried it earlier. I couldn't do it. Saxehuaman? I'm going to go with that. Uh, outside the old Inca capital of Cusco, a fortress called Saxehuaman rests in the Peruvian Andes, built from enor enormous stones that have been chiseled and stacked together like a jigsaw puzzle. Some say Sac uh, could be the work of an ancient civilization that had a little help from interstellar friends. Aww. The 1,000-year-old interlocking fortress walls are made of rocks that weigh as much as 360 tons each. I could lift that. I'm going to go to the gym a lot. Okay, and which were carried more than 20 miles before being lifted and fit into place with laser-like precision. I don't know why that's a problem. I can do two of those at once and walk all 20 miles. 20 miles, yeah. 20 miles. Wow, that's and quite, he was with me. He saw me do it. Uh, how an ancient, <laughs> ancient culture accomplished such a feat of engineering is a fun little problem to solve. Turns a lot of out, protein. Just keep going, man. You're good. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. This, I'm making fun of it. I'm getting this pain in my back. Um, I'll okay. Do that for you. No, no, stop. stop. <laughs> okay. New conspiracy. It's getting awkward. So, <laughs> generally, with the ancient alien theory, if you've watched any episodes of Ancient Aliens, is that if something is big and technologically complex, even for the time, it must be aliens. Yep. Um, in fact, they just made a leap in, in a clip that I saw earlier where they claimed that ancient aliens were responsible for. The um, Superhenge in England. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's Stonehenge, wait, Woodhenge, Wait, wait, wait. I've never heard of Superhenge. What? Superhenge. It's basically a giant circle, well, oblong circle, of, of standing stones. That's all it is. Why haven't it, why have I heard of Stonehenge? What the hell? It's massive. It's huge. What is okay. this? So, it's Superhenge. Thanks, Superhenge. Man. And what they claim is that there may have been concentric circles on the inside. So just circle within a circle within a circle. And then they f went even further and said, well, maybe this circular structure had a roof. And then, of course, because this circular structure... This that would ancient, make it flat. That ancient stone circular structure that had a roof would make it flat. Right. Therefore, right. it must have been an ancient alien landing pad. Of course. Or spaceport. Those are the kind of leaps, the kinds of leaps that the show takes. Now, we're not going to take those kinds of leaps here. Uh, I personally, and this is where I want to start getting your guys' input and your thoughts. Right. I, personally, leap, I personally think that the concept, at least the idea that we were visited by extraterrestrials thousands of years ago, mm -hmm. that they had some kind of influence on us, is mm -hmm. at least plausible. Sure. Yeah. You know, the, the universe is huge. Right. Uh, we developed rather quickly, you know, about 5,000 years ago. It's when civilization really started to boom. So the idea behind this is, you know, it's decent. Yeah. But to claim that every single ancient human advancement yes. was, built was, by was built by aliens. Yeah. Like we never inspired or built anything ourselves. No. There's no way we could have done this ourselves. I think that's, that's a stretch. It's actually, I find a lot of this interesting and I kind of do believe, actually I do believe um, a lot of this stuff may have been made by an ancient civilization from space or something like that. Okay. Because it also falls in line with the theory that the reason we've never met aliens or extraterrestrials mm -hmm. on a massive scale, which is mm -hmm. what you would expect, sure we can have things like we're one appeared or whatever, but we've right. never met them on a massive scale, right. is that the um, Earth civilization is actually late to the intergalactic party. Yes. Everyone yeah, that, else has yeah. died, they've all gone extinct, there's very few remnants left. Yeah, we're the latecomers. Yeah. And this would make sense with that because they built these things on this planet. Right. Super hinges. I, I'm, this is so weird. I always believed yeah. that Earth was like the bad neighborhood of the galaxy. This and is like where nobody wants to don't go. don't even want to show up to like get gas. Like they're coming through and they're like rolling up the windows. Well, isn't it Guardians of the Galaxy were called like, or like in, in Marvel comics, they refer mm -hmm. to the Earth as like the backwater planet. Yeah. Oh yeah, most sci-fi does. Yeah, like this backwater planet Earth. Well, I mean, if aliens did show up, that means they have the technology to get to us. Yeah. Okay. Super. So their ship not broke visible. down in the wrong yeah, neighborhood, yeah, like, oh, and they're like, "Oh, Johnny, I told you not to Just go there." You know that Superhenge is invisible yeah. from from human eye, right? Superhenge. 
Is this it, is it. It has a cloaking device? No, it's underground. Okay, that's Stonehenge, and there's actually a, like an underground henge like in No, in this is apparently, so from what I just read there, okay. apparently is underground. And the reason we only recently found it is geoscanning. Yeah. I'm just letting you know, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, a lot, well, I haven't done, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. you need to do a whole video on, we, we need a whole podcast on Superhenge now because I'm super interested. But it's actually what, our next topic is Stonehenge and Superhenge and all that. I told you I had two, which, in, for those wondering, I had two be, in the gate. Well, yeah. th which for those wondering will be yeah. filmed on an odd day. I just want to yes. let everyone know. Yes. It's going to be filmed on this Thursday with yes. a special guest from another comic book channel. Yep. So. Oh, well, I was going to say from another world. <laughs> Sal's yes. going to wear an alien an mask and speak in real languages. What? Crossover. Oh. Why did I do that? Okay, so <laughs> uh, another one, another very popular potential ancient alien site is the Nazca Lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, those are, did you hear about how that got ruined? No. I got Can you explain how it got ruined? On a high and dry plateau, some 200 miles southeast of Lima, more than 800 long, straight white lines are etched into the Peruvian desert, seemingly at random. Joining them are 300 geometric shapes and, shapes and 70 figures of animals. 70 figures of animals, including a spider, monkey, and hummingbird. Whoa, scroller. I'm scrolling so fast. Um, the longest of the lines run straight as, as an arrow. They need an editor. Okay, straight as <laughs> an arrow for miles. The biggest That's shapes, not so geographic. I know. The biggest shapes, they're not perfect. The biggest shapes stretch nearly 1,200 feet across and are best viewed from the air. Scientists suspect the Nazca drawings are as many as two millennia old. And because of their age, size, visibility from above, and mysterious nature, the lines are often cited as one of the best examples of alien handiwork on Earth. Otherwise, how would an ancient culture have been able to make such huge designs in the desert without being able to fly? And why? And you'd think that these ancient aliens are better artists. Uh, it turns out it's rather <laughs> easy to understand the how. Uh, called geoglyphs, these enigmatic designs are made by removing the top rust-colored layer of rocks and exposing the brighter white sand underneath. That is why a bit uh, tougher, that's the why, is a bit tougher to comprehend. First studied in the early 1900s, the designs were initially suspected to be aligned with constellations or solstices, because that's everything's aligned with a constellation apparently. Or a solstice. Or a solstice. Mm -hmm. But more recent work suggests the Nazca lines point to ceremonial or ritual sites related to water and fertility. Spicy. Uh, okay. And oh, they started another sentence with the word and. In addition to being visible from the air, the shapes can be seen from surrounding foothills. So th this one's... I have a theory. What's your theory? Uh, it was just like a drunk guy. You know, like a weird <laughs> guy in the neighborhood. You know, like the, like the village idiot, right? And he's just out there one day making designs. And I'm like, what is Steve doing? What is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, just let him go. Yeah. It'll be fine. He's been hitting the mead yeah. too hard. Yeah. 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 It's just um, out there like yeah, breaking just, away rock. Yeah. I'm making a spider. Yeah, exactly. So here, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, why? And he's why? like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about so it. So here's the funny thing about these. Because when I first heard about these like forever ago, my assumption was that they're untouchable. Yeah. You can't break True. them. You can ruin them. So the image I've got here, okay. and then I linked it to our Twitch chat, and I'll, yeah. Get, yeah. I'll give it to Dylan. Actually, I probably should link it to him right now before I forget, um, is apparently a truck driver decided to take a detour Sure. Through the desert and oh. just drove over them. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's what this is. Well, well, yeah, if you, if you think that? about it, yeah, yeah. You, it says you can see them from the foothills. It, that doesn't mean you can see them when you're like right on top of them. Right, so right. You probably have like no <laughs> idea. It was just driving along. Oh, hey, yeah. I need the road over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Apparently, he got a massive fine from the government, and oh, now sure. they, they yeah. actually instituted like more don't drive over I'm the surprised, yeah, they yeah. don't have like a fence. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I can imagine he like drives off, realizes what he's done, he turns around and he's like, oh, okay. So yeah, because I was reading that, back in the smiley face. I was looking at like na uh, natural sites that are being ruined right. by, mm -hmm. you, uh, you know, by earthlings. Humans. Humans going through I like them. Like you said, earthlings. I was going to say Americans. I was going to say Americans and I went to earthlings. I don't know why, but whatever. Earthlings. Um, so because of that though, so I find, so it's funny because that was on the list of sites that are being ruined. Mm. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of national parks um, it, because it came out of Instagram is actually leading to a lot of sites that used to be more private and people would get oh, photos sure. and stuff yeah. to being discovered. Oh, yeah. Uh, due to geotagging and Instagram, yeah, yeah, people yeah. are finding a photo, they're yep. hitting the geotag and they're like, oh crap, so it's only five trendy, miles in Suddenly that it's way. a trendy place to go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's what's happened to these things and they're right. using it as an example of this truck driver just to roll over them, trying to get to the next road. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> That's sad. Um, okay, so where were we? Pyramids. Pyramids. Let's move on to the pyramids. The okay. They're not this real. is probably the pyramids are not real. No. They're big inflatables. No, no. This, <laughs> this is all computer generation. It's all computer not generation. There. I can't blow this all up today. <laughs> if you go, it's just flat desert. There's no. They're There's, not there. They're not there. No, they're also exist. under. They're also at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle. You weren't here for that. Is episode. that? Oh yeah. Is is that our next? And they're oh, made out of crystal. That, yeah. Yeah. Is that our next conspiracy theory? That, that they, the pyramids aren't the real. The pyramids are not real. You know what? Every other episode, I'm just gonna come up with a conspiracy. Just like make one up on the spot. Actually, a lot of conspiracies that have gone viral have just started like that. People just make something up and then there you go. I mean, isn't that why people got bigger? Tune in next time. For my made-up conspiracy that you discover is actually real, and you're like, yeah. guys, oh, no. I've gone in too deep. Okay, <laughs> I've gone so, in too deep. <laughs> Egyptian, Get a black show yes, house. Egyptian pyramids, just outside Cairo in Giza, the most famous of Egypt's pyramids, rise from the desert. Uh, built more than 4,500 years ago, the pyramids at Giza are monumental tombs where ancient queens and pharaohs were buried. But how exactly did the Egyptians build these things? The Great Pyramid uh, is made of millions. Okay, millions of precisely hewn stones weighing at least two tons each. Can you lift that? Uh, yeah, even I, with, I can lift 350 <laughs> based on our previous discussion. Uh, even with today's cranes and other construction equipment, building a pyramid as big as that of Pharaoh Khufu would be a formidable challenge. And then there's the astronomical configuration of the pyramids, which is said to align with the stars in Orion's belt. As well, alien theorists often point to the fact that these pyramids are in way better shape than others built centuries later. Um, never mind the amount of work that has gone into preserving them over the past several centuries. So are Egypt's pyramids artifacts of aliens? They're actually uh, alien spaceships. I used, okay. Like in Stargate. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So, okay. so like Stonehenge. <laughs> We're only seeing the top. It's actually a pyramid at the bottom, oh, and so that's like where the engine is. It's a diamond engine shape. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's where the yeah. engine is. And then it would rise up. Because yeah. you would make a ship out of stone. Sure. That makes sense. So, right? like the Peruvian things, yeah, that yes. could be, that's kind of weird. Stonehenge yeah. is kind of weird. Yeah. We've seen how they did this. It was a massive undertaking with slave labor. Yeah, I, what? Well, that, it was. I would point and out that they're like, oh, even if we had modern day cranes and things like that, but like the pyramids weren't built in like a couple of months. It's not like when they're putting houses up in my neighborhood. No, no, no. Yeah, like, like you blink and there's like, do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. Can do it in like a week. Like no. they at least took like decades. Oh, they did. Yeah. To oh, do. they did. It wasn't like yeah. And what I okay, this is one that I, I don't believe were constructed by aliens. Now, now, now if, if there is any connection to aliens, I don't know. Maybe they taught the Egyptians how to do it and then they just did it. I don't know, but <laughs> like he showed up. He's like, "How you doing? All right, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. Big stone yeah, block. Big pyramid thing. All right, big pyramid. Okay, okay. Do what you want with it. Um, Here, use this tablet. And they're like, use, what? <laughs> what is that? Um, That's how it happened. Rick Caesar says they weren't slaves. They were paid. There was a little column A, a little column B there. All right, oh, yeah. the, the unpaid <laughs> workers. <laughs> the unpaid That's what we'll call them. <laughs> um, <laughs> the workers making one penny per stone block yeah, they yeah, placed yeah. in there. So what I find interesting is that it was actually just a couple of years ago that uh, Egyptologists finally actually discovered how they were made. It wasn't necessarily like this, like what it's made of or the 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 shape of things. It's more how did they get those stones right. moved. From and that, from, yeah, from, where, from wherever they get the, the quarry core, yeah, to exactly. where they had to put them. That was the big mystery. Right. It was like, how did they lift these things? Turns out they just used water. They oh, just water on the sand. Oh, like it floating? softened, pretty much. It, they they use like a series of like uh, planks and uh, levers and water and yeah. stuff. And so what and, and what you actually had was the Egyptologist community kind of embarrassed because there were literally hieroglyphics. That explained this. <laughs> that explained it. Yeah, yeah. That were just constantly overlooked. And they were like, oh. What does that one show? Yeah. The one that looks like they're moving big blocks towards that pyramid thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a mystery to us. Now go back to Raw. It's, it's got to be aliens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that's actually, it's been explained. Um, so the fun that we've been having with the pyramids is over. See, okay, I, I'm looking First at the title of the next one. I'm going to let you explain it in a second. Stone okay, Edge. sure. Yeah. Stonehenge is rather famous. You need to explain what it is for people who don't know what it is. But the thing that I think, that, that what before you go into it, because I want to state this, okay. the thing that I find the most interesting sure. about Stonehenge sure. is not that they moved the blocks that got them in place. Okay. What was its purpose? We don't know. And, that, and that's what that's I think the is thing. the most interesting part yes. about Stonehenge. One theory I was reading, and we'll cover this more in the next episode, is that, uh, they, this is like a legitimate theory, that it was basically the ancient equivalent for the English uh, of like, a team building space. 
So it's like where they did their team building exercise. Everyone meet me at the Giant Stone Circle. We gotta have a meeting today. Yep. Uh, I'm letting go of one yeah. of you, so you may want to show up and find out who it is. You're, you're all getting new shields today. <laughs> um, so <laughs> you like know, Andy's like, calling like, dibs to the northwest corner. Yeah. I want an area to do trust falls, but I don't want to just do them at the castle. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, we need something. Yeah. We need to look exactly. like an arena kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. But yeah. I'm picturing a lot of large blocks stacked on each other. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. That's a great place for hide-and-go-seek. Um, all right, so Stonehenge <laughs> is... <Ancient> paintball. <laughs> paintball. Arrow ball. I don't know. Arrow, paint, paint arrow. Paint arrow. Yeah. I've that seen Game hurt. of Thrones. They got yeah. some weird stuff. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so Stonehenge is a huge circle of stones. Like some weighing as much as 50 tons. Sits in the English countryside can we do outside a, Can we do a South? dragon conspiracy? Sure, many. <laughs> Yay. Sure, we can talk about dragons. They're real. And how they're not real. No, they are okay, real. A huge circle. Okay, <laughs> outside Salisbury, Salisbury, known as Stonehenge, the Neolithic monument inspired Swiss author Eric von Deineken to suggest it was a model of the solar system that also functioned as an alien landing pad. After all, Perfect. how else could those massive stones have ended up hundreds of miles from their home quarry? When you said Salisbury, did anyone else think of the steak? I did, every time. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. Let me ask you this, though. All right, so... It's such a good steak! It's like it's little, like, chunk of like, meat! It's got to be an alien landing pad. So, obviously, these spaceships, these alien spaceships... Can't land on the ground. Can't land on the ground? Like, they can <laughs> fly across the universe. Yeah. But yeah. not land on the flat But not land grass. on grass. <laughs> no, they can't. All right, so when the aliens evade, we just plant a bunch of grass, and we're fine. Yeah, yeah. Get like rid of cover all up is this like, is this like, heads. Is this yeah. like what, the, the happening or whatever where they just avoided all the trees? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Just avoid yeah. the wind in that movie and you'll be fine. <laughs> or no. knows a breeze won't get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The wind is picking up, Andy. Yeah, and that Shyamalan just, just gave up on that script. Um, okay, so no one knows <laughs> no one knows what exactly the meaning of Stonehenge is, but as with all the other sites in this collection, the explanation is not aliens. Instead, scientists have demonstrated it's actually possible to build such a thing using technologies that would have been around 5,000 years ago, when the earliest boring. structures at the site were built. I know. It's That's boring. Like super it's boring. boring. Like, it's boring. Aliens, man. Yeah. Landing and now pad. it appears as though the stones are aligned with solstices and eclipses. Why do they, a legit question, why are these things always discovered to be astrologically aligned? And that is what baffles everyone, even though Galileo, I believe, is, I mean, Andy, you've been doing all the tales of Earth research. Like, didn't astronomy start with a Galileo? Modern They're, astronomy. Yeah, yeah right. I was going to say, it didn't yeah. start with him. Yeah. Holy oh, crap. <laughs> 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 the you guys like one see night. this? He <laughs> just walked out of a bar. He's like, guys, has anyone ever actually looked up before? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this Galileo, he's out of his mind. You know, and nobody. You all know not to look up. But what I'm okay. stating is astrological <laughs> stuff. That's Galileo nobody knows the far is, earlier. Yes. Now that I'm thinking about it, Galileo yes. was what, like 14th, 13th yes. century? No, yeah. I, I think well, we talked about this earlier. It wasn't he around with Einstein? Yep. <laughs> uh, I think we hit on that. No, on that was previous. Tesla, right? Yeah. Tesla, Galileo, uh, Plato. Plato, Plato. Yeah, I think Plato. Plato. Yeah. Uh, no, what I'm saying is like we've had astrological <laughs> stuff for centuries. Right. This yeah. is not yeah, 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 Galileo yeah. made modern astronomy. Yes, yeah. but we had it long it before. Was, that. It was really known well, as like I mean, cosmology. Yeah. But what I'm wondering is why are people so was, fascinated by that? Because as your joke stated, and in all honesty, this is kind of how it is. They people looked up. Yeah. I, I just know, watched an episode of Orville yeah. okay. where they were still following astrological signs on this planet they found. Okay. I think a lot of it had to do with timekeeping. It was like it was essentially like a seasonal calendar. It helped. I mean, I'm sure the Mayans made a whole calendar that yes. ended like 2012. Yeah, I, was I know. Say, technically, the world ended. They ran out of space. <laughs> and now it appears as though the stones are aligned with solstices and eclipses, suggesting the Stonehenge builders were at least keeping an eye on the heavens, even if they didn't come from above. Well, okay, like, so my... I like, wait, 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 hold on. I like yes. that idea because I always like the idea that people are like, they put a thing behind it, like, that's when the Mayans believed the world. I just like the idea that there was one lazy guy who was like, I ran out of space. <laughs> so he's For like, mines, I had to put yeah, the end yeah, of the yeah, world yeah. there because I just didn't have yeah. any more room. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a smaller chisel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but uh, like even the Mayans, they, they had yeah. astrological signs and they were following the star patterns yeah, and stuff like that. And yeah. I won't even lie, I don't know when the Mayans are around, maybe 18th century, it actually, was, uh, 21st century. It was Mayans and then uh, Albert, Albert Einstein. <laughs> 
I thought you were legit gonna help me here. Albert Einstein was a Mayan, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I'm gonna say like Mayan, Aztecs, yeah, all these things. They were all like these, things, were all, like, these pyramids, ancient pyramids. civilizations. I'm sorry for the viewers right now. <laughs> Try to keep track of what we're saying. No, no, no okay. Romans. <laughs> yes. Romans had astrological signs, but we're yeah. fascinated that ancient civilizations aligned things with that. That's the point yes. I'm making. I don't understand okay. why we're so fascinated when we know ancient civilizations followed stars. And yeah, yes, they believed absolutely. they were, they like the, the half the time they believed the stars were alive and the cause of things. Yes. But we know this, you know, yeah. like we know they did that. Right. So why are they always fascinated like that Stonehenge is aligned with the stars? Well, they're just, uh, I think the only- I think that's, that's the whole point of my five minute rant. <laughs> What's fascinating to them, I, to people who believe that it is ancient aliens, is that that maybe it's like the accuracy in which these things were built, because people couldn't be accurate back then. Um, you know, and, and <laughs> just the, everybody's just like, look at these simple peasant screwheads living in the muck. Yeah, basically, like, I honestly didn't know they. They could must do not that. be trying for anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so you I, get my point. I, I'd though, like right? to see like a we're, modern we're human do better. They think aliens did this. Yeah, no, but it's okay, not. But, out okay, of okay, true, right. okay, true. But, yeah, go ahead. Not everyone thinks it's aliens. You realize that's not like the no, no, that's no, the no, point I, of this conspiracy. No, no, no I know. People are just like it's a solstice thing. Yeah, right. No, but what I'm stating is like that is the basis of the argument. You know, it's, it's kind of like going back to the flat oh, earth theory. like they couldn't do it, it had to be it. That's, okay, right. that's what I'm It's yeah. kind of like the flat earth theory where everyone's always like, well, I can't see past the horizon. Like, yeah. so walk to it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, that, <laughs> these mud people obviously couldn't do this. Yeah. Aliens. Get in your car and just drive. Now we're just back to making fun of flat earthers. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> do I think. Flat I, earthers I, believe in aliens. Yeah, no, they believe in giant uh, turtles. Yeah. I don't think technically you could believe in aliens if you believed in a flat Earth. It's true. Physics wouldn't allow for it. It's true. All right. So, um, <laughs> Teo Tehuacan. <laughs> I'm just going to call it Teo for short. Teo uh, Teo uh, Tehuacan, meaning the city of the gods, is a sprawling ancient city in Mexico that's best known for its pyramidal temples. And you can just say pyramids. Nope. And astronomical alignments. Your favorite thing, Benny. Built I, more than 2,000 years ago. I'm just ago. questioning why we don't think this is a thing. Teo Tehuacan. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Teo Tehuacan, age, size, and complexity can be can make it seem otherworldly, but it's very much the work of humans. This author needs to find a new way of saying this. Uh, scientists suspect that over centuries a mixed culture uh, scientists suspect that over centuries a mix of cultures including Maya, uh, Zapotec and Mixtec built the city that sounds like a streaming service. Yes. Mixtec <laughs> uh, that could house more than 100,000 people with its murals, tools, transportation system and evidence of advanced ag uh, agricultural practices. Teotihuacan is often considered much more technologically developed than should have been possible in pre-Aztec Mexico. And by far the most well-known of Teotihuacan's buildings is the Massive Pyramid of the Sun, one of the largest uh, such constructions in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, the pyramid's curious alignment is believed to be based on uh, calendrical cycles. What a weird way to say that. Yeah, I know. Actually, I've read about that city. So it's <clears> actually <throat> one of the largest, like, or very first urban areas yeah. that were ever built. Yeah. Right. And, and Long so, before, like, we, you right. know, like, Europeans and everything. Yeah, so this is basically the theme that we have running with the ancient aliens of, uh, theory. There's no way these mud people could do it. <laughs> <laughs> mud That's people. my point! Like, there's okay, no it's, it's way. Like, it's, like, it's like how I'm baffled with like the lizard people. <laughs> right. Where like there's no f hardcore evidence. The this evidence they're using for this yeah. is very flimsy. Yeah. Oh, like, it's extremely once again, flimsy. Going Everybody's back just the... like, these people lived in their own filth. <laughs> yeah. There's basically, no the assumption is that, that ancient people didn't have like... They advanced. didn't look up. <laughs> they didn't look up. They didn't have an understanding of mathematics, and we've proven otherwise. That they didn't have uh, an understanding of like architecture. We can prove otherwise. I mean, I think the, one thing that the, bothers me is they are our ancients, right? Like they, they yeah. are we. No, no, we figured how all did that we crap forget things that they yeah. knew back yeah. then, and then think that we just invented it later? We oh no, know that's I that's invented math. Yes, what? What? <laughs> that's the, that's the Galileo last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah we looked so, up. <laughs> that's the basis for the ancient alien like theory. Okay, is that there is no way human beings could have figured any of this out. We were pretty dumb. That basically that yeah. they were we were just stupid. We were cave people. We had no concept of uh, space and dimension and any of it. We've actually we've proven time and time and time and time again that that is not the case. Right. Ancient humans were very smart. Very intelligent. Human intelligence has not changed a whole lot. When did we like 
what we forget know. Forget all of this information. Right. Like well, this is a legit question. I don't know this. With the fall it, of empires. Yeah, I was gonna say. Did, of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there. I mean, what is it? The Library of Alexandria yes. and things like that. Yes. Like all this information we did have at one point was always consolidated, yeah. usually into one space. They couldn't back it up to the cloud. Yeah, there was no. There's no cloud. There's no computers. Yeah, exactly. So like and like the sacking of Rome and things like yep. that. Like all of this stuff was either burned or destroyed or stolen, yep. and that's how we lost them. Okay. Legitimately, yeah. yeah. Information can legitimately just be yeah. lost long before there yep. was like the internet. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean that's base, that's that's the basis for the ancient alien theory is that we were just too dumb to figure any of this out. Now, the basic human intelligence has not changed a whole lot. What we know has changed, but like the ability to know has not. Okay. So yeah, uh, Easter. That was very well put. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Easter Island. Uh, that's another one like Stonehenge that I've always found fascinating. Yes. Well, great news. We're going to have a video about it on Talesburg. Are we? Yes, yeah. we are. Oh, I was yeah. working on it this morning. That's why I have everything it. on this channel is just going to connect in some way. That's not literally the whole point. We've yeah. also discovered like our crazier theories and fun stuff gets a yeah. lot more views than the factual. Oh, yeah. We're not ending the history stuff, but uh, oh no, yeah. I did tell Aiden to start looking up some crazier <laughs> stuff. Uh, the enigmas surrounding the Moai Easter Island's fleet of large stone figures. Uh, pretty much follow the same narrative as the others. I think this writer's getting bored. Uh, described here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same how, crap over and over and over again. Yeah. Mud people. How in the world did the Rapa Nui make these figures more than 1,000 years ago? How did the Moai end up on Easter Island? They made them there. Uh, carved from stone, the nearly 900 human. You're like, there. You're they, like that's they, pretty much, yeah, they, we, we they made it. Transport there. them there. Yeah. They were there. Uh, the nearly 900 human figures are sprinkled. Oh, nice. Along the flanks of the island's extinct volcanoes. The figures average 13 feet tall and weigh 14 tons and appear to have been chiseled um, from the soft volcanic tuff mm -hmm. found in the Rano Raraku Quarry. There, uh, there, more than 400 statues. Wow, 400. Yep. Uh, statues are still in various states of construction, uh, with some completed figures awaiting transportation to their intended resting place. The reasons for carving the Moai are mysterious, though they were likely sculpted for religious or ritual reasons. Um, Just some guy that's like, watch me carve these statues. Yeah. How many statues do you think I can carve in a month? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I can totally carve more statues than you. No, legit, like, legit, I gotta feel like it's something like that. Just like yeah. the, the creepy doll island with the guy that just collected dolls and hung them up in the island. You've never heard of that? No, I don't pictures. want to hear about that. No, it's it's also well. not exactly clear what happened to the stone crafting Rapa Nui. I, but I a leading theory on. suggests their civilizations succumbed to an environmental disaster of their own making. Andy, give us a video on this. Okay, I am curious about that. Uh, which is, what, this? that is super creepy. Well, we're going to have a video Which about is it. something that probably <laughs> could have been prevented had ancient aliens bestowed their infinite wisdom upon the culture. That's your. That's where you're faulty. How, Aliens don't have infinite wisdom. How, how old is this article, actually? Because they actually do know what the purpose of the statues is now. Oh, what is it? Uh, it doesn't actually say. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, yeah. So, they, it, so actually, they discovered it at... Uh, let's see, what, uh, it was just some guy going, Bro! I can carve statues! Oh, I, was saying, I want to say it was late last ago. year they figured it out. Okay. Well, what, oh, okay. One of the reasons it could be. Okay. Um, a lot of the statues are actually... Well, one, it, they were supposed to be... Um, like their ancient ancestors kind of watching over, you know, they were obviously sure, yeah. the, the standard religious yeah. aspects of it. But then they discovered that a lot of the statue's locations are actually uh, marking fresh water supply. Oh, cool. On the island. Because there's great. no yeah. actual So there's like, a stream. practical use. So there was an actual yeah. practical That you could see from anywhere, basically. It's so basically enough. it was, we need to mark this. And so some guy's like, yo, I can just carve well, some really cool statues that points it. So most of the statues are actually facing inward. Which is a lot of people for the longest time were like, why are these statues looking into the island yeah. instead of out? Yeah. And the reason being was the religious, you know, it's their ancient ancestors. They were or protecting the, the yep. lands of the family, yep. yada, yada, yada. Yep. And then there's also seven statues that are looking outward and those were supposed to be protecting sailors. Okay. So that was the idea. But then they also discovered that it seems like where all the statues are also marked where fresh water supplies was. So it was like yeah. a dual thing. That's a practical use. Yeah. Very practical. Uh, the next one is the face on Mars. If Elon Musk has his way, humans will be capable of visiting the face on Mars. I'm sure that's, that's a goal. That's going to become a tourist attraction. Some, yeah, the face on Mars. This uh, came out sometime. October 26, 2017. I know. We, we just said that. I was listening to Andy, not you. <laughs> uh, sometime this century, he was spotted by the Viking One Orbiter. I thought I was going to say the Vikings. I'm like, wow. Yeah, the Vikings are like, eyesight. Did you guys look up? Yeah. <laughs> what a face order. on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> the so-called face is nearly two miles long and is in a region called Cydonia. 
uh, which separates the smooth plains of the Martian north from the more cratered terrain in the south. At the time, scientists dismissed the face as shadow play, but over the decades it has become a favorite among those who suspect aliens uh, with a uh, penchant for building things uh, have been visiting the solar system. In 2001, NASA's Mars Global Surveyor <laughs> took another good look at the face. <laughs> Let's see this here. Uh, oh, using, yeah, yeah, using a much higher resolution camera Steve? and saw no face. Turns out that what had ha appeared to be a face is just another boring old Martian mesa. Uh, kind of like the landforms that litter the U.S. U.S. The U.S. Southwest. <laughs> the U.S. Southwest. Well, didn't they also find uh, what they thought were pyramids on Mars at one point too? I think they they There's like they, hills that kind of yeah, made like they, pyramidal shapes. Everything you can imagine has been yeah. claimed to have been seen on Mars, yeah. uh, including, including Martians, like, like a spoon. Well, yeah, like a spoon. That's yeah. true. Like, they thought they Martian saw like spoon. a crab or something yeah. up there. No, that was Venus. Was that Venus? Okay, yeah, yeah, Venus. Yeah. A crab's uh, on Venus. There was some picture they like some telescope picture, and they were like, "Look, a crab." <laughs> yeah, and everyone was like, "Aliens!" Look more on the creepy dolls before I go look that up. Oh, okay. That is that's here's, wrong. That, here's I what know, I want it to be wrong. though. Let's say that's it is so aliens. Weird. Like, let's say I'm an alien, right? Yeah, I'm flying through the solar system. Let's just say you're. Let's an say alien. I'm an alien. Let's say I'm a lizard person alien. I'm flying through the solar system, right? I yeah. see this little backwater planet, right, full of, mm -hmm. full of these Neanderthals and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what we should do, Bob? You're now my co-pilot, Bob. Bob. You know what we should do, Bob? Yeah. Is we should draw a face on this other planet so that if they ever get the technology to look at it, to look at it'll the planet. freak them out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll freak There's them. no other purpose for yes. this. There's no other purpose but just intergalactic So pumping. this this was like April, <laughs> April 1st. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so you found the crab on Venus. That's the crab on Venus. Because yeah, like I mean, let's be honest, we've it's all been strange. on long road trips. You got to entertain yourself somehow. Oh yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> we're going to go into a few quick examples of ancient alien uh, pranking. Pranking, sure. <laughs> ancient alien pranking. Um, these are hieroglyphs, objects, uh, images that people have found. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? It, it, when you look up crab on Venus, it came up with those weird stockings, so I was looking at them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so basically just imagery that we found depicting weird ancient aliens. Stockings. And we've lost Benny. Benny's gone. Benny's Actually, gone, people. It didn't take as long as I thought. Okay, <laughs> ancient aircraft. Uh, the ceiling beams in the temple of Seti the first at Abydos in Egypt uh, do actually depict what looked like um, a That's a helicopter. A helicopter. It's, a straight yes. up black it's also a giant bug, though. Okay, so a helicopter, a submarine, uh, or a glider. Okay, the submarine's kind of reaching. The submarine's reaching, yeah. A glider. A land speeder. A, a land speeder. <laughs> also Star reaching. Star Wars. A zeppelin. Also okay. reaching. Very much reaching. And that's pretty much it. The helicopter is the one, the only one that actually looks, looks like, like a helicopter. helicopter. Yes. I mean, you could say, like, go down a little bit more. Yeah. You could say this kind of looks like, you could say this looks like it could be a plane. Or a UFO. Or a UFO yeah, exactly. or something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I could say that. Um, another one is the uh, Saqqara bird. Is it a spaceship? Actually, no, it looks if like anybody a bird. Looked, thinks that the, the, the Saqqara bird looks like a spaceship, needs to look at a bird. <laughs> Find a picture of a bird and then look at the Saqqara bird. You will see that they are both birds. But what if... <laughs> <laughs> it's a spaceship that looks like a bird. It was a spaceship that looked like a bird, and it introduced birds to the planet. Yeah. What if it didn't have birds before that? Yeah, Gary. What did you think about that? <laughs> I mean, they what could fly. The they, could, they could populate yeah. the whole planet. They could. Yeah. What, what about, about thunderbirds? You know birds are giant birds. Birds are technically reptiles. Yeah. Categorically, birds are reptiles. Well, didn't that supposedly birds evolve from dinosaurs? Yes. Yeah. 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 So how would they evolve smaller? What, what freaks me out about that is we have flying <laughs> reptiles. Okay. One of the artifacts. So dragons. Okay. Uh, yes! What <laughs> Can we cover that? Uh, one of the artifacts <laughs> called gold flyers found in Colombia. Now, this is I'm a child. <laughs> extremely interesting to me. Now, it <laughs> does look like an airplane. But if you turn it right side up, what you have is a mouth, eyes, wings. It just looks like an, an ancient deity. I mean, yeah, if, you try, so, if you change the angle, I, yeah, I was just saying. I would it. say either it looks like yeah, an ancient deity, or it would look like almost like a picture of a bird, just like this, like looking at you yeah. with its wings out. Yeah, yeah but exactly. if you lay it down, sure, I could see how maybe it looks like an airplane. Like an airplane. Yeah. 
And it probably was making that noise. Sure. Yes. Yeah, then thanks. <laughs> uh, there's I'm al- helping. There's also a depiction of a uh, King Paco of Palen. Palen? 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 Totally. Palen Q? Palen Q? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it looks so like a vomiting. The, so people have claimed <laughs> that this looks like somebody taking off in a spaceship. That he has like a breathing apparatus connected to his nose, that he's pulling a bunch of like levers, that there's a rocket engine <laughs> underneath him. It's like a Willy Wonka <laughs> spaceship. Oh, yeah, it does. It's like, a, yeah, the, the most inefficient spaceship. Uh, then there are also paintings. Um, this person just gave up on labeling these things. Uh, there are also <laughs> uh, uh, paintings of beings that look like they're sitting in spaceships. And these are very, these are Renaissance paintings. Um, Couldn't the Renaissance just be like, wouldn't it be cool if there was like a device that would launch you into space? Oh yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> or they could have been like, oh, it's a meteor. Right. And this is a, somebody in the meteor. Somebody in the meteor. Or, or it's a sign. Star, it's, it's a religious yeah. symbol. Absolutely. I mean, you had da Vinci working on basic concepts for submarines and... Uh, and, and, and airplanes and gliders and helicopters. So th- this idea, I know. So this idea that ancient people couldn't come up with this concept of of a flying mechanism is also absurd. Not I mean, that I mean, I mean, yeah. Humans have always desired to fly. Like some of the cre- weird creations that we've made in our uh, science fiction. Right. In a hundred years, people are going to look at it and be like, "Wow, those those backwater uh, yeah. screw heads in the mud. They they couldn't have thought of this stuff." Exactly. Exactly, like they time they, travel. They couldn't yeah. think of that at this time period. Yeah, let's go back and mess with them. Teleporters, <laughs> yeah, teleporters, yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. They let's dress like hipsters and go back to a bridge that has yes. no significance. It'll right. free come out. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just what, starting to think that's everything. Now it's just yeah. somebody in the future, or aliens screwing with them. My my final thoughts are that I think personally, I think, and we should I should just do another episode on this because we've barely scratched the surface. That's how most of these aliens, episodes. Right? Yeah. Yes is that for me, the concept of ancient aliens visiting us is much more plausible, much more reasonable when you look at ancient stories of their interactions with beings that they claimed came from the sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or uh, interdimensional lizard people like the Nephilim. Sure. He didn't trigger. Wow, wow. that was I'm weird. a little sad. I'm not going yeah, with it. I'm, I'm not, not being, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, so some of the ancient alien mythology include the Nephilim, Anunnaki, Atlantis, things like that. I want to live in Atlantis. So we will talk about the actual can ancient aliens. There? Atlantis? Yeah. I want to meet Aquaman. We can move to Atlanta. <laughs> I don't think it's the same. <laughs> the same thing, no. yeah. um, Wait, is Aquaman there? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> um, anyway, check the so, wrong thing in my GPA. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to do the, I am. I, so one of our next episodes is going to be about the ancient aliens themselves. Like who we think they are, who we think they visited it, visited it. Um, <laughs> We're going to do three beers and, and, and three beers uh, in the conspiracy. The drunker That's winner. a show crossover. Yes. The more plausible it becomes. <laughs> yes. And yeah, you're totally right. Uh, so when it comes to the ancient alien influence on mankind in terms of our structures and our science, I, that is less plausible for me because mm-hmm. I think a, a sufficiently advanced civilization that can travel across the universe at will is not going to interfere with the natural development of a, of a, primi- just, of a uh, primitive I, species. I feel like if they did, that we would have been more technologically advanced yes. quicker. Like, why would they show up or, and be like pyramids? Ha. Or we would have more record. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, these guys that, showed that up. That one, and, I think. Yes, exactly. Exactly. If aliens showed up and gave us, like, they're yes. not going to show up and be like, Here's technology. Tell them no, that we were here. Yeah. Why? That makes no sense. And then they, then they get in their no, ship and they head over to the, to the Mayans. They're like, okay, tell nobody we were here. This is so much yeah. fun. Okay, and then they get on their ship. They're yeah. just screwing. They're just screwing with this stuff. Don't tell them you saw yeah. aliens. I saw okay. another right. civilization. We're going to have them all build pyramids, but they're going to be slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be they're the not going to freak out. They're not going to yeah. be able to figure and out. And we're going to have them make a calendar yeah. that ends on 2012. Yeah. And exactly. we're gonna put a face on Mars. <laughs> then, they get home, then the aliens get home like Zorn. What'd you do today? Nothing, Mom. Leave me alone. <laughs> we think uh, it's like the super technologically advanced. It's like a teenager with a car. Got, with a car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to Earth today? No, Mom. No, I didn't. What's this face yeah. on their moon? I went, I went to Zorb's house. So, uh, <laughs> so my summary in all of this is that <laughs> ancient aliens, while they, it is plausible they could have been real, and I said this before, did not help us develop into the modern world. No. I don't think that at oh, all. Oh, I totally think it is. They may have visited. It was totally Zorb. He's was, a yeah. 16-year-old alien. Yes. Oh, he's yeah. got his yeah. license. <laughs> Finally got his spaceship license. Uh, <laughs> he's also the one that crash-landed in Roswell. It went horrible for him. Yeah, because he's immortal. 
<laughs> so <laughs> an animal is a person. They okay. In short, I don't think ancient aliens helped us. They may have visited as like a study, but I don't think they would have inv- influenced us on a scientific. Do people not know the first law of first contact? You don't do it until they, the planet reaches out. Yeah, until they can also become an inter- yeah. interstellar species. Uh, have you not seen Star Trek? So, or any sci-fi? <laughs> or any fair, sci-fi, though, really. That was actually developed by us as humans once we reached that point. So they not, might not necessarily have the same laws. True. That was Starfleet. Starfleet was started on Earth once we started moving out into the galaxy. Yes. So not necessarily... Because the Borg, the Borg started everything, remember? Well, in that one movie. You yeah, don't like that retcon that the Borg went back in time and started everything? It's okay, Gary. The Borg didn't start everything. They tried to no, go back didn't. in time to stop everything. Yeah, started. exactly. They assimilated the it, Earth and then the Picard... who reached out to This us. is not a sci-fi show. This is a conspiracy <laughs> show. No, 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 no. They went back contact. in time and the very yeah. first guy that made first contact, yeah. the Borg tried to stop that. Yes. Right, but they didn't start it. No, but because of their interactions, it started everything. No. No, yeah. that's no. not true. Because I thought Picard and all then messed with the timeline doing all that. No, they, they had to fix they it. Did, they fixed the timeline. Yeah. This is the to make sure it right? turns out they were a part of First Contact. If you're going to make the reference weren't. to the movie, at least understand the movie. <laughs> yeah. The Borg made everything. No, they didn't. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What are your final thoughts? On, I want the Borg to be on, real. On the, Why would it be so simple if I was the Borg? the influence of ancient aliens on our cities and science. I don't think it happened. Same yeah. thing. I don't think it happened. I think... There's a possibility they showed up, but yeah, they didn't. Help I think I just think we would know. Oh yeah, I don't think know. that would be hidden if they affected this many different things. Oh yeah, I mean we have incredible records of like invading civilizations, and we have incredible records of the day-to-day life of you ancient think, civilizations. Yeah. We would have a record if an alien showed up in a ship yeah. and said, "Build me a landing pad, <laughs> so that more of my friends can show up." <laughs> You know? And then never showed back. Well, never I, showed up. I, I, I think what blows my mind like is. Oh, we're back at like I think what blows my mind yeah. about this. Yes. Is you don't even have the equivalent of like tabloids. Oh no. It's not like this is the Odyssey that tells the story of lizard people that came right. down and they, you know, right. we're, and we're all like, that's yeah. just a myth. You right. know, like, and we have right. something to point to. Because you mean to tell me that the entire civilization of the Mayans or the Egyptians or whatever, they were just like, shh. No, no, I got it. Hold on. So there are actual records, but they are being kept deep within the Vatican. <laughs> it all comes back to the Vatican Ooh, by that's a good ninja one. priests. Ninja priests. Vatican ninja priests. Yeah, write that down. Oh, that's my next conspiracy. I hold on. I'm looking to see what was your other Vatican one. Vatican ninja. Your, your, no, your other your other conspiracy. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Something to do with the pyramids? Uh, they were... Um, Apparently there's a TV show about a ninja priest. Sure. Just make up a bunch. Sean Bryan's just, just story. Spitball with you real fast? Just, yeah, just make up some. Uh, the, From the gymnast to Berkeley spacious. grad to Papal ninja. Is that a true story? Yeah. Wow. The ninja priest. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just a yeah. Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for watching today's <laughs> episode of Conspiracy Cast. If you want Repent. more of this on Tales of Earth, let us know in the comments down below. Give this video a like. And don't forget Thank to you. subscribe to Tales of Earth to keep up the yes. date on mythology, urban <laughs> legends, factual history, and whatever weird stuff we want to talk about. Mm-hmm. And we have a couple of video, cool videos coming out soon, which involve teaching you how to time travel and what you would bring with you, and uh, basically how to conquer the world. <laughs> what was that? That's what I would bring with oh, me. Con- a gun. A gun. <laughs> you can find me at uh, the Benny Potter on Twitter. He's at no, Film no, no, Circuit, no. and Andy yes. doesn't have internet. Film Circuit on YouTube and on Twitter. There you go. And he doesn't have internet. Yeah, he's an ancient alien. He's a lizard person. <laughs>